All right, I'm gonna do a little video uh, about the cost of our rainwater system and why we decided to go that route. Um, when we bought that land, knowing it was up in the mountains, uh, we knew rural water was not gonna be an option up there. And so we had planned to drill a well. Um, the, the short story to that is we did witch it. We had other people come over and witch it where you uh, you walk across the across the land with two metal rods and wait for them to cross. Um, we had the well drillers out. We dug the first hole or drilled the first hole 300 feet <clears throat> and didn't hit anything. I mean, like moist dirt was about it. <clears throat> so we found a new spot, had them move over to it and drilled another 300 feet. We got like a trickle on that. Um, I think when I hooked up my tank to it, I think I was getting almost 200 gallons a day for the first couple days, and then it dropped off to, to quite a bit less than that. It took, uh, it took a couple weeks to fill a 2,500 gallon barrel. So, and that was kind of our holding tank for the place. So we moved into that property or into the house there and pretty well knew that the well was not going to keep up and I was going to have to come up with another plan. Talk about building a $130,000 house up in the mountains and getting your wife convinced to move out away from town and then, uh, and then having a water issue was not, not good. So something else that I just had to work on and get past so I kind of read about the rainwater catchment um, wasn't something I had done not something I'd practiced but uh, needed to come up with a solution so for $950 I think it was I was able to get the whole house guttered our house is like 60 foot long then I've got a carport that's attached on the end of it. That's probably another 30 feet, so call it 90. So you've got a, you know south and north 90 on each. So you've got 180 feet of gutter. We got it done for like 950 bucks. All aluminum, seamless gutter. They knocked it out in a couple hours. They were not there very long. Uh, we started with a 2,500 gallon reservoir that was down there attached to the well. I gave $900 for that tank um, from Tractor Supply. This is four years ago. So right there, I'm in, uh, I'm in 1,800 with gutter in the tank, but that tank we had, we had purchased because we knew it was, it was for the well regardless. If everything worked out great, it was, we were still gonna need it for the well. So I don't know, however you wanna really word that, but. 2,500 gallon tank, got it for 900 bucks, um, used a farm tax card, all that. So, I think that comes out to right at 30 cents to the gallon for storage. Uh, fast forward, we got, we got the gutters installed. I went and bought a second tank, another $900, and they might've gone up a little bit. Maybe it was like 950. Okay, so we're at, uh, for simplicity, $2,800 with having the gutter, and now we've got two 2,500 gallon uh, storage tanks. Okay, so 5,000 gallons total. I lay two inch water line. This is not something everybody's gonna have to do. It's just what I had to do because of how I was setting up our system. I lay two inch water line from the main tank at the house, which was the main catchment tank off the gutters, lay two inch water line down to the well house, about 300 feet. Honestly, I can't recall what that cost because I traded for that two inch PVC pipe and, and I traded for the machine to trench it. So I really didn't have any money in that, uh, just my time. As things progressed, uh, we were getting a little low on water during the summer months. 
So, went back to Tractor Supply and they, uh, they had another tank I was able to get for like $600. I don't know, I, I don't, I still to this day think that their computer system was screwed up. I called their manager out there. We rang it up several times. Um, it turned out to be a total blessing because I didn't really have the money for another tank at the time. But that got us up to 7,500 gallons of storage. We've never run out of rainwater. We have gotten down to about 600 gallons, 400 gallons before rain came again. And we've had to really conserve water. But we've not ever run out officially. Um, in 2020, 20, 21, I think it was 20, right around the Rona, um, the tanks got really hard to find. I was out west working, and I stopped at a tank manufacturer to pick up another 2,500 gallon tank. Um, I had a couple dollars in my pocket and was just looking to expand the system. I got out there and Elite Tank, I think it was, it's not Shawnee, I can't, Ada maybe, Oklahoma. They uh, they did not have any 2,500 gallon tanks, period. They did have a 3,000 gallon tank sitting out by the highway, so I bought that off of them. I ended up paying a dollar a storage gallon. Like it, it I mean, so you tell me inflation's not real and I'm, I've gone from paying 30 cents a storage gallon to over a dollar. Anyways, get that tank, bring it home. I hooked it up to the greenhouse. Um, the greenhouse got a much smaller floor or uh, yeah, footprint. So we're only collecting on about 400, 450 square feet of roof there. So keep in mind every thousand square feet of roof with one inch of rain, you're collecting around 100 gallons, or I'm sorry, 600 gallons of water. So 1,000 square feet, one inch of rain, around 600 gallons of water you're collecting. Our house is 1,800 square feet, plus we have full length front and rear porches. So they're another 10 foot plus the overhang of the roof, so pushing probably close to 12 foot. The way I've estimated on our house, we're collecting on about 3,000 square feet of roof. So one inch of rain is getting us about 1,800 gallons caught into our containment system. Um, since that, this past week, I went ahead to uh, Home Depot and bought another 2,500-gallon uh, tank. I parked this one out there at the orchard. We did fill it off of our rain barrels. It's not hooked to our rain catchment system at the time. Our well still produces very poorly, uh, but I do have one hydrant on the property that runs just off of the well, and that is the hydrant in the orchard. The, uh, the well water's uh, got a high sulfur smell and taste to it, so we really don't use it in, in the house unless there's like a dire ne necessity, something's gone terribly wrong. So I put a, uh, or the plan is to put a float valve on that 2,500 gallon tank. I'll just use the orchard to keep, or uh, the orchard hydrant to keep that tank topped off. And that tank will be used to water the orchard through the summer months. So now we have, uh, we've got four 2,500 gallon tanks and one 3,000 gallon tank. So we're at about 13,000 gallons of storage. I've got another 250 gallon tank connected off a small part of the carport that we utilize as well. Um, that's just kind of how we do it. Rural water is not an option. We're over a mile from the closest rural water spot. Uh, I've already put tens of thousands of dollars into drilling wells. So that's not happening again. That was the biggest waste of money I've ever been a part of, arguably. So, we run the whole homestead off of 
13,000 gallons now of water, but really we've got 7,500 hooked to the house full time. The other ones are kind of reserve and, and trying to use those more for the garden and orchard. <clears throat> Just to give you an idea, that 7,500 gallons that we have now, we have never run out of water. There's five of us that live in the house. Four of them are there full time. My wife and the three kids, they're all homeschooled. Everybody bathes every day. We run the dishwasher every night. We have a washer machine. We've got an instant hot water heater. Um, I mean, everything's pretty normal. We've had we've had up to 150 chickens at a time. I think we're somewhere around 60 right now. Um, I've had just shy of 30 pigs on the place at a time. I think we're at seven right now. We've had and still have four goats. We've got six dogs, more cats than I can keep up with. So we're running the full farm um, off of this and we're not having a problem. So we're in southeastern Oklahoma in the mountains. The rainwater that we're getting is, is plenty enough to run our, our homestead. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. I'm trying to give you all as much information as I can. Um, the videos are just kind of hit or miss when I have the time. Uh, we do get questioned as to whether we treat our water. I don't treat it. I don't have a first flush diverter valve or anything like that. Um, the main tank at the house is going to catch the majority of the sediment. It'll settle on the bottom. The outlet to that tank is about three inches off the bottom. So the larger sediment is going to stay in the tank. The We do have a sediment filter on the way back into the house, truthfully. I'm not sure I charge, change that thing once a year even. So for whatever that's worth. Um, inside the house, we do use a Berkey uh, gravity water filter for our drinking water. Used that for a couple years now. Got tired of buying eight, ten cases of water at a time when we went to Sam's Club. So we've definitely made our money back or saved our money with the Berkey. Um, I clean the filters on it or rinse them off maybe once every six months, nine months, something like that. Um, but that's how we do it. If you have any questions, reach out, or put it in the comments below. If somebody else you think could use um, some of this information, just pass it on to them. If I need to cover something else in detail, just let me know and we'll go from there. All right, thanks. Y'all have a great day.